My name is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. <laughs> a trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. shoot them? An old friend who's informing on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, until you figure out who burned you, you're not going anywhere. Easy. That'll kill you, you know. Yeah, no kidding. No, the bucket of trans fat you got there. Did Veronica call you? Because if you're taking her side on this whole cholesterol thing, it's going to put a serious strain on our friendship. No, you can binge in peace. Yeah, well, thanks. But that's not the only reason why I'm here, you know. I got a job offer. Ah, here we go. Pete, one of my buddies from the SEAL teams. He's got a lady who's got some problems. So she called him because he's in special forces, but he's got this blood pressure thing, so he called me. What do you say? My plate's a little full, sir. What, you mean with this whole Philip Cowan thing? Mike, you're doing arm sit-ups. I'm worried about you. I thought this might get your mind off it. Cowan burned me. Cowan sent someone to kill me. Now he dropped off grid. I need my mind focused on this. All right, fair enough. Will you mind if I run with this? The money's not bad. No, knock yourself out. All right. What's that? Well, it looks like your buddy Cowan finally made contact. You want me to come with, back you up? Sure, bring your bucket of fat. I'll bring my chicken too. Oh yeah. <laughs> like your buddy didn't show. He wouldn't just not show up. He's watching. You think? Where do you think he would be? I know where I'd be. What do you think he wants, Mike? That he wants to meet. So why not just meet? He doesn't trust me. Fair enough, I don't trust him. The first step in dealing with a covert op is establishing a way to communicate privately, a code. Could be a key encrypted cipher, but really all you need is a base of knowledge that you share. He knows my entire career, falsified a good bit of it. It shouldn't be too difficult for him to figure out a way to talk to me. The mating dance of the spy. It's a wonder spies ever get close enough to kill each other, isn't it? Oh, gotta go. Veronica has her on a pretty tight leash, huh? Hardy Har, I'm meeting with a prospective client. 
Mike, buddy, you call me if you need anything. Fiona, just keep doing whatever it is you do. Uh, yeah, usually, but my partner's on something else right now, but it's fine. So, um, Pete says you're having some trouble? Uh, I'm a supervisor at SXG. We build planes, satellites, weapon systems, government contracts. I've been working there ten years. It's a good job. Are you okay? I... Look, it's okay. I'm like a doctor or a lawyer. Well, not a lawyer, but the point is, you can tell me whatever you want, just between the two of us. My friend, Melissa, we worked together. She was having an affair. Her husband, Ken, is abusive, controlling. The only time she has alone is at the office, but to sign in guests, you have to have security clearance, so... So you did her a favor. Her boyfriend stole files, took photos of them together in the building. I'm the one who signed him in. I could lose my clearance, my job, go to jail even. He's blackmailing us. What does this guy want from you? I have to sign for packages and Melissa smuggles them out. Any idea what's in these packages? They're from a subsidiary of SXG in Turkey. I checked one. It's, it's drugs. I don't know what kind. Well, that part of the world is probably heroin. There's another one coming in this week. I just want to get out. I'll see what I can do. I, I don't want help. I, I want to keep my secret. I have to. I don't want to get anybody in trouble here, and I'm not here to judge. I've made plenty of mistakes myself. God only knows. <laughs> Listen, I was lonely, and Dave was... I made a mistake. I just... I want to put it behind me. Okay, Dave. Uh, Jillian was saying you met this Dave at a bar. Which one? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't remember. My husband's home. Come on, please. You have to go. Okay. You know how to get a hold of me. Don't worry about it. We're just fill in the blanks ourselves, I guess. Now, listen. When was the first time Melissa ever talked about her new friend, Dave? Huh? I got here as fast as I could. What's the problem? I got a phone call, Michael. I was scared. Phone call? What kind of phone call? It was for you, some man. He wouldn't leave his name or his number, nothing. All he said was Van Buren Avenue. And then he hangs up. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, it's probably just a friend. That is how friends behave, Michael. All right? The way he said it scared me. Ow! Michael! I lost my key. Worried it was your friend? Hey, bro. You look tired. Hey, Nate. You look clean. You shaved the ferret off your face. So what couldn't wait, Ma? I had to walk out on a really big investor. What do you mean by investor? Yeah, a buddy of mine, he's got a process that recycles titanium golf clubs. It's going to totally revolutionize the golf club. Forget it. Mom, why did you call me? I called your brother, too, because I was scared. What's going on here? A strange man phoned here. Michael won't tell me anything about him because it's all a big mystery. Mom, it's just better if I don't get into it. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. There's nothing to worry about. This man who called... He just wants to talk. Well, you can't talk to us. You know, in 20 years, Michael, I have never asked any questions. But this is my home. 
It's not like it's some war up in some country that I've never even heard of. This, this is your family. Oh, I know. Okay, you can tell me. I mean, seriously, what's going on here? Nate, I need you to watch, Mom. It's just a precaution, and I need you to lay low for a while. Keep a low profile. Don't leave the house. You can do that, right? Safety is up. Of course, I, you know, I will be taking time off work. And I'll need to get some, you know, supplies in case things get dicey around here. Recycle titanium, huh? What is that, a name of a horse? of this invitation. I might be in your drinking buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's this job that I'm on. I need some backup. And Mike's mind is pretty much on this whole cowan business, so I thought... Of me! I thought of you! <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> What's the job? Well, it's a blackmail thing. And uh, one of the victims got spooked, so she's not saying where she met the bad guy, but I think I got enough to put it all together. She met him out at a bar, and I have an approximate date. That's not much to go on. I got a guy who's pulling her credit card statement. Find the charge, find the bar, find the guy. And you need a wingman. Damn straight, Skippy. My fee is 500 up front. Expenses and an hourly as we go. You never charge Mike. Oh, I expect other things from Michael. Yeah, Faye. Sam just hired me for a job. I thought he was going to be ill. It was so much fun, Michael. I wish he could have been there. Cowan sent me a message. I'm searching the cafes of South Beach for a cutout. Don't you think he'll come himself? He seems eager to meet you. I doubt it. He'll send someone. I did something similar in Belgrade years ago. Long story. Have fun. There's a reason I never had the patience to be a spy. All right. The truly paranoid don't go to meetings themselves. They use a cutout. Someone unrelated to them hired to show a prearranged sign and deliver a message. The sign is something innocuous, but hard to miss. My favorite is the tourist guide from Madison, Wisconsin. No one will look at it twice, but unless I'm in the Midwest, I know they're waiting for Michael Weston. You the envelope? Who are you? Ain't nobody, man. Look, uh, some guy gives me a hundred bucks. He says, give this to the first guy that comes by and bugs me. You are bugging me. This is where Melissa met her boyfriend. Seems a little unlikely, but she definitely paid for drinks here. How do you want to handle this? Well, I think the balls are in your court. Oh, great. The hell am I paying you for anyway? Hey, how you doing? Um, I'm looking for a friend of mine. Just wanted to see if you can help me out. Handsome guy right there. <laughs> hey. How you guys doing? <coughs> How about those dolphins, huh? <laughs> so how did we do? 
Well, uh, my new friends have informed me that the mysterious Dave is actually a hustler named Ray Wagner. So he was just stepping up to the exciting world of blackmail and smack dealing. Yeah, I guess he's uh, broken a few hearts and lifted a few wallets here. But I have his address. You know, Sam, I have to say, you were captivating over there. <laughs> well, hey, a free drink is a free drink, baby. I feel like the shirt. That's not a very nice way to say hello. Let's try that again. I'm Sam. Now you say, hi, I'm Ray. What do you want? We want you to find a new way to import your heroin. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. Jillian Walsh, Melissa Fontenot, you're gonna leave him alone. Her? I never messed with her. We went on a couple dates. All she ever wanted to do is take pictures in some building. 100 bucks a shot. She took the pictures? Yeah, and her husband paid. Some guy, flat top. It was weird. I didn't ask questions. Melissa lied to us. I knew it. You did not. I suspected. Suspected doesn't count. We gotta talk to Mike. If she was setting me up, why would she be in the photos? Why not just steal the files? Well, she's the only one who could get the packages out. If Melissa wasn't being blackmailed, you'd know that she was in it. I can't believe I fell for this. Don't be so hard on yourself. Double blackmail is a classic. It's as old as the pyramids, you know. You pose as a fellow target of your own blackmail scheme. That way you'll always know what the victims are up to. Pros use it all the time. So, what do we do? We gotta get near Kent. If we can get some evidence linking him to the heroin, we can do our own blackmail. Get you off the hook, you know. Start fighting fire with fire. But Melissa knows I hired you. We'll have to make her think that the investigation stalled. Plus, we're going to get some more help. A little relief from the bullpen. Well, do whatever you need to do. I'll, I'll pay more. I'll dip into my savings. Don't worry about the money, Jan. We got you covered. Hey, Mike. She running again? More or less. How's your dance with Cowan going? I don't know. It's hard to trust someone under these circumstances. But I don't have a choice, do I? Yeah, I gotta tell you, that part of the job, I don't miss it. You guys set a meet yet? I think so. He sent an article about a job I did in Budapest. I met a contact there under the steps of City Hall. I assume that's where he wants to meet. Wow. Cowan gets the gold star for clever, doesn't he? Oh, he just likes watching me run around in this heat. You want me to come with you? Thanks, but I think he wants a little alone time with me. Ah. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, listen, Mike. Um, this new client of mine, Jillian, uh, she's in kind of a tough spot. Uh, I was just giving her a ride home, and, uh, well, uh, there she is uh, in, in my car right there. Shameless, Sam, even for you. Look, Mike. I know you're busy, but I need a fresh face on this. It's a tiny little bit part. You'd be posing as a green beret, like falling off a log. What's the job? Well, it turns out that Melissa's husband, Kent, is running all the smuggling down at SXG. It's a double blackmail thing. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I saw it coming. Really? Yeah. 
what I need to do is make friends with Kent. Okay, just encourage him to expand his business, open his horizons a little bit. So we threaten to tell his bosses and get him killed unless he lays off. Exactly. See, you're way ahead of me. You call that a little bit part? Well, look, Mike, come on, I'd do it for you. <sighs> Fine. Nice phone. What is that, the Razor? You want to get off my truck? Sure, I'd notice a stick on Marines. Used to be. Yeah, Rod Bucks at Green Beret. I got out in 97. Congratulations. Out of my way, I'm in a hurry. Sure, Kent. I just want to talk a little business first. How'd you know my name? Oh, I know more than your name, Kent. I know you got a sweet smuggling racket over at that SXG facility. Packages leave the building completely unchecked. Unchecked is something I'm very interested in. You don't know what you're talking about. Sure I do. My service buddies over in Istanbul clued me into what's going on. What's going on is none of your damn business. I don't care who your friends are. Calm down. We're just talking here. No, 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 no. You show up out of the blue, you know about me and my operation. We are not just talking here. Sure we are. And I'm telling you, I'm willing to pay top dollar for your hook at SXG. Look, I've been where you are, taking orders. Everyone else sits back while you do the heavy lifting. I can change all that. It's like they teach us in combat training. You look for the opportunity, you take your shot. Listen, the guys I work for... Don't ever have to know about it. We're not stepping on anybody's toes. And nobody besides your bank account will ever know the difference. I have to think it over. You take your time, you think it over, you call me when you're ready. We'll talk terms. Semper Fi. V. Give me that little tweezer up on the dash, will you? That's okay, I got it, thanks. I'm about done there. He usually goes out for a run between seven and eight. Yeah, well, I'm hoping for seven. You know, as much fun as it is hanging out with you, this little stakeout's costing me a fortune. I mean, can't you at least cut your hourly? I bought the snacks. I'll reimburse you for the snacks. Oh, yeah. There we are. Okay, let's make this count. Oh, hey. I'm glad I caught you. What are you doing here? I, I told you, if my husband no, sees you... I, I understand. Just... I'm sorry. I know that you wanted to be discreet, so I waited for him to leave. I just thought you'd want the update. What? Did you find something? No. I mean, if you don't give me any leads on Dave, I mean, there's not much I can do. You got anything? No, I told you. I, I don't know anything. If you want to bug a cell phone wirelessly... You'll need a lot of specialized scanning equipment and a computer to deal with the encryption. I prefer a hands-on approach. You just bug a duplicate phone and swap out the SIM card so the new phone has the same number. Your target will talk all day, certain that no one could possibly be listening. Yeah, you're good to go. Ken's keeping a little meeting a secret. I think he's terrified of his supplier. I don't even think he knows the guy's name. I'll back you up. 
let's get this chump on tape. Yeah, about that. How much are you paying me on this job? Because my rates are a little... Oh, I gotta go. Mom, what are you doing you here? You gave your brother a gun! I'm sorry, Mike. I tried to stop her, but she Michael, found Michael, what is going on? Nate, I told you to keep her at home. I know what you told home. me, but you know What are you, you know doing? I asked you to you, no, you, you, you stop it! May I have a moment? Michael, what is this about? It's complicated. I've had enough of it's complicated. It's a secret. It's for my own safety. Enough. What do you think I'd do, Mom? You think I'm playing games here? No, 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 I don't. We're your family, Michael. I'm asking that you trust us. And when would I have learned how to do that? Well, sometimes trust is something that you work on. You were gone for a long time, Michael. And you were the one who left us. Still got the car. I have a meeting to get to, so if we could wrap this up. Let's go, Nate. He's got a meeting. your gun. Mom. Get yourself some furniture, Michael. Didn't raise you to live in a warehouse and eat off a bench. further we need to go over a few details first shipment comes in next week your cut is 10 grand a shipment ah oh, damn it how do you like those details i need to know who told you about that specifically yeah, it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter to me the men i work for they killed me they found out i was running product for someone else I don't know, you heard about it. Who sent it? That's the point. They don't know. This is yours. On another score, you gotta cut them in on it. Having a gun to your head is all about timing. Finding the right moment to make your move. Who told you about me? Take it easy. Take it easy. Best to snap the trigger finger first. After that, it's mostly downhill. <laughs> After your deal went sour, Kent and Melissa were on the phone. Son of a bitch had backup 
So I'll put three slugs in my engine. How much does he know? Too much. I need to shut this down. Can't. Not yet. There's another package in lockup. <sighs> Have her get it out. And I'll clean up this mess. I can't let them know we got sloppy. Ken's running scared. It makes things complicated for us. Was he talking about me when he said clean up this mess? Yeah, well, that's what our little dance at the construction site was all about. Mike was their first cleanup project. I am so sorry, Ken. Busted my windshield. I'll just repair it again. He tried to kill you. Happens all the time. Don't worry about it, especially with the part-time help on easy jobs. The problem is we don't have enough evidence to use against him. So what do I do now? You could run. Kent might not find you, but you'd have to stay on the move for five, ten years. Plus, he still has all the blackmail material, so he can still take you down. But if you help Melissa get that package out of SXG... You want me to do it again? Look, I know you're afraid, but I'm going to be right outside the whole time watching. Once Kent has that heroin, we can use it to bring him down. You need to trust us. Protecting a client. Monitoring electronic surveillance. Hello? Can you get the package today? I told you, Jillian's signing for it. We can get it tonight. Or meeting the man who burned you. You've got to be patient. In the real world, covert ops doesn't involve many car chases or gunfights. Mostly, it's just hurry up and wait. Not too exciting. But you wait, and you watch, and you stay alert. Because at any minute, the job can get way too exciting. I just wanted you to know we are good to go. Getting it out today. And the woman? I, I set her car this morning. It's done. It's not done until it's done. Get a visual, then tell me it's done. Can I call you back, Fee? We got a problem. Ken's going to hit Jillian tonight. Call Sam. I can't. There's no cell reception. All right, I'm on my way. It's always tough to reschedule a covert meeting. You can't exactly leave a note, so you have to leave behind just enough to get them where you want them to go. This crap down the machine shop, get it fixed. Have to have it all done by tomorrow. So my husband's here to take me down to Ball Harbor. I hear you. Good luck with it. Thanks.
Why don't we just go home? I don't want to watch. Then don't. Miss me? Oh, yeah. Can't wire Jillian's car to blow. Jesus. Well, that's why he's watching then. The white van, 10 o'clock. Do I have to warn her when she comes out? Well, you think Ken's just gonna sit there on the sidelines for that? Oh, great, Sam. So we sit here, we do nothing, and she winds up dead. That's not what I meant. Guys, guys, which one's her car? It's the black Jeep over there. Keep the guard busy. I'm borrowing your floor mat. Hey, good evening. How you doing? Evening. Uh, listen, we have a reservation for 8 p.m. A reservation? Yeah, well, this is the chart house, right? The chart house? Yeah, it's a restaurant. No. What? No? I told you not to get off the freeway. Oh, hush, Muffin. This guy just having some fun with us. Chuck Finley, party at 2. Hey, hey, come on, a little service here. You know, I'm trying to eat. I'm hungry. This is not the chart house. This is not the chart house? There's no reservations here. I need to clarify something here. There are two basic ways to blow up a car. Use the gasoline in the tank or provide your own explosive. There are two techniques that use opposite ends of the car and are disarmed differently. Some people prefer the gas tank. It tends to look more like an accident, but it's less reliable. Others prefer plastic explosive on the battery wired to the ignition. Come on. They really tried to kill me? I'm afraid so. With that under my car? Well, yeah, it's a car bomb. This may be kind of hard to get your head around, but this is a good thing. They're scared of you. That's why they put this little toy next to your engine block. <laughs> scared of me? They're afraid of a lot of people. Police, uh, the people they work for. And now they've got a big box of heroin they have to get rid of. So... What should I do now? Take a vacation. By the time you come back, we'll have your problem sorted out. New Hampshire's nice this time of year. Vermont. Okay, and now what will well, you do? Well, Kent and Melissa are going to have a little uh, well-documented transaction going on, a buy. Uh, we're going to take that evidence, go to Kent, get him to shut down his little operation, and have him back off. Thank you. I, I can't believe you did this for me. Well, we haven't done it yet. Why don't you go um, make your arrangements? This deal, the time. I know Mike looked at this whole Callan thing. It's good. We're covered. You're okay. Don't sweat it. You sure? Yeah, we're just taking pictures. You're the one who needs backup. No, I am doing this alone. Okay, I get it. Good luck. Don't look at me. I don't get it. I don't get why you're so dead set on getting back in. Why go back to work for the people who've put you through all this? I want to clear my name. I want to know who did this to me. I spent my entire career doing something I believed in, Faye. 
Something important. You do have something important here, Michael. Think about it. Next time you are risking your life to talk to this Philip Cowan fella, you think about it. Hey. where Kent's little meat is going down. I'm gonna take the car down there on the opposite side, use a telephoto lens on the camera so we get some. Okay, no rush. I'm on the clock. I'm gonna work on my tan. I want a flat rate next time. Mm-hmm. When you're communicating in code, sometimes you just have to hope that whoever you're talking to is smart enough to figure out what you're saying. Use a code that's too simple and it will get broken. Use a code that's too complex and you're just talking to yourself. No greeting card, I'm hurt. Glad you made it. Yeah, something came up, sorry I missed our meeting. St. John's at 316, clever boy. Are you ready to meet? Are you here? Well, we'll, we'll meet on my turf. Thanks, I'm back where you got my first message. Come alone or I leave, unarmed, or I leave in 10 minutes, or I leave. It's over a mile away. Yeah, well, guess you better run. <laughs>
I always find my handshakes a little after a run like that. Any advantage I can get? Well, you know. Can't be too careful. I'm not here to kill you. Really? Slept with a gun under my pillow every night since I heard you were hunting for me. To hear you say that now, it's almost disappointing. I want to know why you burned me. You think I burned you? I know you did. <laughs> why, because you read it on a file? Wow, you really unraveled that little mystery, didn't you? Do you think this is about me? One man watched you, targeted you, burned you, froze your accounts, cut off your travel. One guy did all that, and then he decided to come to Miami and explain himself. He tried to have me killed. Nothing personal. Do the same in my position. Michael, you keep thinking that this is about me. Banish that thought. You're on the edge of something much, much bigger than us, my friend. People I work for, they have plans for you. People you work for? Powerful, dangerous people. And man, are they upset with me. I misread you, Michael. Didn't expect you to buck quite so much. You're making everyone nervous. <laughs> truck and meet me at the corner of Pembroke and Fletcher. Leave now. Like, what? Nate, get in your truck right now what? and meet me there. Wait, what's going on? Truth. I have no idea. tell you anything or what? He was about to. Think that's why I got shot? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they thought I'd kill him. It was a setup. The cops were there way too quick. Somebody called them before the shot was fired. This is deep, bro. Nate, I want you to go pick up mom. It's about time you two got out of town. Right. Thank you, Nick. I just, you know... Well, don't talk like that. You're not good at it. But the next time I ask you for 20 bucks for gas, remember this. Actually, I think I'll go with him. Michael. See, can I call you back? Michael. Ken and Melissa's deal went bad. They're dead. And Sam... Whoa, 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 what, what? Slow down, Faye, slow down. Ken's boss is cleaning house, I think. They were watching us. They took Sam. Who did? I don't know. Whoever they are, they're damn good. Where are you, Faye? I'm in the warehouse district by the First Street Bridge. Sounds like it's a bad time for me to bail. No, it's the perfect time for you to bail. Look, man, something happens to you, and Mom is on my ass forever. All right? And not to get into your business, but it seems like it could use the help. Thank you. You're welcome. 
family first, right? She's in there somewhere? I mean, she could be in any one of those buildings, man. She'll let us know where she is. In any operation, communicating silently is often essential. Chalk marks, an unusual arrangement of objects, anything that stands out from the background will do. A piece of cloth on a window. There, she's there. Hmm, great. What are we gonna do about it? I mean, those guys are all over looking for her. I'm gonna need to drive. warehouse door is going to be reinforced, but the walls aren't. Hold on. And the areas under the windows don't have load-bearing beams. doesn't scare people. It makes them curious. A speeding truck makes people scatter. A slow-moving truck, on the other hand, makes people want to take a closer look. people were heroin smugglers? Sam had a job. Things didn't go as planned. You're out of your mind. What happened with Calvin? Yeah, things didn't go as planned with that either. He's dead, Faye. They shot him while we were talking. Did you get anything? A little. He said the people he works for, they have plans for me. You know, that's intriguing. What the hell does it mean? Without knowing who they are? Hard to say. They might want information. They might have a job they want me to do. I mean, they shot him for a reason. Better be a good reason. This is your place? Yeah. Well, it's a foreclosure. You know, I guess they ran out of money in the remodel. Usually I can hang out about... Three months in a place like this. You, you know you blew up my truck. Anyone know you're here? No, no. I got a couple clients in my golf club business. They weren't real happy with the way the investment worked out, so... Nate, I need you to go get Mom and bring her here. Seriously? Come on, man. Once she starts smoking in here, we're never gonna get the smell out. The people who shot Cowan are probably watching her place. When you go get her, bring her here, make sure you're not followed. I know how to lose a tail. All right, yeah, I hate to break it to you, but spies aren't the only people with enemies. Tell me what happened with Sam. Mm, That's pretty good. 
but you gotta follow through. <coughs> okay. Now we're getting somewhere. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty painful. How was that for you? Go take a picture. What do you work for? <laughs> Me? <laughs> I don't work for anyone. I go out there sometimes just to... to think. Take pictures of the birds and the local fauna, you know. Woo! <laughs> Woo! You're getting good at that. The guy that came for the woman, he knew what he was doing. Maybe DEA? DEA comes with the team. DEA brings cops. DEA does not blow up a truck. You know, buddy, if I were you, I'd watch it with the stupid comments, because, you know, your boss just killed a lot of his own guys outside, so you know... <laughs> hmm. Let me guess. Trying to buy time for your team, is that it? Team? Uh... <laughs> there's... There's no team around here. I work alone. In a cubicle. You work alone? Mm hmm. Pretty talkative for a loner. Called this number three times when you at the docks. Let me guess. Are you your boss? That's my boyfriend. Okay, okay. Look, I'm DEA. We've been watching you guys for months. We got a grand jury ready to go. Ooh. I'm CIA. That's right, CIA. We've been tracking your Turkish heroin connection for terrorists. Who do you work for? Ha! We got an informant. Your guy there, he works for us. Isn't that right, Frank? Come on, tell him. No use lying now, he's got us. Come on, Frank! <laughs> You're a funny guy. You're trained, aren't you? Hmm? Let me guess. Special Forces. See, me, I'm an ex-Green Beret. I meant nothing. Deny everything. Make counter accusations. Special forces? No, no. I was a Boy Scout for a while. Hey, take these restraints off me. I'll show you how to tie a slip knot. Let's just kill him. And then what? The girl saw us. We can take care of the whole team plus Jillian. By the way. Seems like she packed up and left early. We went by her house. Must have been in a hurry. But don't worry. I'll find her. I'm really good at that. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. You know what? Draw what green braids are all about. under a Fort Lauderdale overpass. For any operative, stashing weapons is second nature after a while. Spies hide guns like squirrels hide acorns. You never know when you'll need some firepower or where you'll be when you need it. If we need more than this, we're doing something very wrong. Or something very right. Hello. I've got someone here who says he knows you. Sam? Yeah, he works for me. Oh, yeah? And what kind of work do you do? Choosing a cover ID on the fly is always a challenge. My work? Yeah, your work. What was your man doing down at the docks taking pictures, huh? When there's no time to think, it's best to go with something simple that keeps your options open. I'm in the same business you're in. We're interested in your operation. I sent Sam down to do some research. Oh, yeah? That's not what Sam says. I don't train my employees to talk about my business. Listen to me, not to him. Who am I talking to? Hmm. I think you know enough about me for now. So let me ask you a question. 
You thought what? You could just come down here and rip me off? I'm just checking out the competition, you know. Move to a new market, check out the lay of the land. Point is, the man you have is a valued employee. I want him back, I'm willing to deal. Let's set a meet. We'll figure out a price. I'm happy to negotiate, but I do not pay for damaged merchandise. I want proof of life. You got email. Wake up, Sammy boy. Picture time. So, uh, probably going to be my last photo, right? I mean, you got these plans to kill everybody, so I'm thinking I should look good for this, huh? Let's see. Nice. I'll send it to your mama. available at most computer stores. Buy a can of screen duster, turn it upside down, and you've got it in liquid form. It's cold enough to crystallize the metal in many commercial locks. A hammer can take care of the rest. So this is Sam's storage locker. <laughs> We're looking for an old photo. It'll be from the mid-90s. You really think Sam is sending us a message? He's trying to get us any information he can. It's the pose in the photo. I've seen it before. One advantage of working with the same team is that secure communication is simpler. You don't have to work out a secret code. If you have enough history, the code is in every picture, every memento, every autographed leg cast. <sighs> What is it? Sam led a hostage rescue operation in Venezuela for some U.S. businessmen. It was a setup. The hostages were bait for Sam's team. He lost a few men. He's saying stay away. He's not getting out of this alive. You made it back. Was anyone there? Government types, bro. Suits. Uh, there was a few plain clothes guys there, too. I didn't even see him till after I got mom. Michael, I was just getting in the shower. He showed... In a sec, mom. As soon as we left the house, they came out like roaches, bro. Did you get rid of them? Did you ditch them? Oh, yeah. I drove around little Haiti for an hour, out to Virginia Key and back. I mean, it was a bitch and a half, but unless they got invisible helicopters, I lost them. And the car? Did you leave the car unattended when you went inside? Don't worry, I ditched that car. I picked up a new one. Yeah, uh -huh, I stole it. It was like a 15-year-old Pontiac, Ma. I did the guy a favor taking it. Point is, we lost him. We're clean. You think they're the same guys that shot Cowan? Yeah. Michael, what is going on? I'm not sure. All I know is this isn't just about following me anymore. They want to bring me in. Who? Who is it? I don't know what you're talking I don't know. Covert intelligence agencies don't call you up and tell you why they're hunting you. Mom, just for now, I need you to stay here, no calls, until I figure out what's going on. He, are you serious? Mom, just until I know more. Nate, I need you to pick up some disposable cell phones for emergencies only. What are you going to do? Fee and I are going to probe these guys, see how serious they are. Well, it's not a perfect location, but it's not bad either. Just need something nice and traceable, a trail that the guys that killed Cowan can follow. Who are you going to call? My old handler. If they're not listening to his line, they don't deserve to catch me. <laughs> Yes, Dan Siebels, please. Oh, this is Michael Weston. I need to talk to him. It's urgent. I have government agents following me. I'm not sure what agency they are, but I need help. Could you send a helicopter? Okay, good talking to you, too. 
Surveillance is a two-way street. If you know someone's looking for you, you've got an advantage. They follow your lead. Go where they think you are. Nice response time. Ten minutes. They're good. Not that good. They're staring at a payphone. Oh, no. See, they are that good. Those guys are just to keep us busy. They know we're here. Fire. Usually people with some firepower of their own. Ready to talk about how to get you guys Sam back? Yeah, you got a price? We'll get to that. First, I want to meet you and the girl together. The girl? You forgot already? Sure went through a hell of a lot of trouble to get her back. She has nothing to do with this. She's part of your operation. I want to know who I'm dealing with. Those are my conditions. Fine. But it's going to take a couple of days to track her down. A couple of days? After what happened, she went underground. If you want to see her, you're going to have to wait for me to find her. Don't take too long. I'm not sure if Sam can hold out. He's got decent stamina. But everyone's got a breaking point, and I'm good at finding them. In a hostage situation, you have to be cruel to be kind. The more you care, the more leverage they have. Like buying a car. You have to make them think you can walk away. Just so we're clear, I don't take damaged goods. You break it, you buy it. Got it? Call me when you find the girl. I take it you just bought us more time. Won't do us much good unless we find out who this guy is. All we know now is he's got Sam and he intends to kill us. Any ideas? Well, it's a pretty small world when you're importing heroin at that level. I'll make a call. Well, it's your lucky day. Your boss really wants you back. I guess that's loyalty for you. You think he's going to deal for me? He's playing with you. Oh, really? Look, I got caught. He's going to kill me himself. Believe me, pal, you'd be doing me a big favor. You got some death wish or something? Well, you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? What, I got to stay another day in this crappy metal box? Look, there's a sweet little park in Coral Gables. Just dump the body. Give me a piece of paper. I'll draw you a map. Yep, 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 yep. All he knows if we kill him, his team won't show. Nah. We need him alive. Fellas, you're only hurting yourselves, I'm telling you. Come on, a little rat poison, easy peasy! <sighs> so you want me to put you in touch with a heroin dealer? That is what I want. Look, heroin, I'm allergic to it. Don't need to touch it, don't need to see it. I think about it, I get like hives. This Heroin dealers? Seriously. It's not a favor. No, it's not. Favors don't get you killed. I give you a name, it gets back. We're in a Barry face down in the river situation. I'm not asking, Barry. We're friends or we're enemies here? Well, if you put it that way, I put it that way. You want the biggest heroin dealer in Miami? This guy's as big as you say. They're probably working together. No, who's the second biggest? Uh, uh, there's this club up on 22nd, Dito's. It's a place usually for smack trade. You're looking for Carmelo. He hangs out there, does a lot of business in the VIP room. Yeah. Uh, Mike, it's for you. Something about your burn notice? 
Yellow. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Who's this? We need to talk, Michael. We've been trying to bring you in. Talk about what? Your past, your future. Oh, sweetie, I'm a little busy right now. Can you call me back? Keep it. Cheers. We friends? We're friends, Mary. She's making me nervous. She just wants to help, Michael. She can help by making sandwiches. Making explosives, are you, Michael? Mom, there is some serious business going on here. I'm not stupid. I can see that. Look, I was hoping to get you back home in a couple of days, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. What do you mean? I don't want to stay here longer. I only brought a week's worth of clothes. And I got a poker game going at the house tomorrow. No, Mom, you're going to have to leave town. Leave town? With Nate. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here with you, Michael. Mom. You're obviously in trouble. No, it's not safe. You can't. I don't care if it's not safe here. I'm Mom. not leaving you. Mom, please. Michael, I'm not afraid. I know you're not afraid. But I am. There's a man right there. Well, he looks like he's ready for trouble. I'll bring him trouble, then. There are some fights you just can't win. A force can be so overwhelming that no tactical approach in a fight is going to lead to a victory worth having. You sure you don't want me to stay? No, you need to go. Now. You know, I'm usually all for the high-risk, high-reward option, but this... If there was any other way, believe me. When you can't win in a fight, sometimes you have to settle for making sure that if you lose, everyone loses. It works for nuclear weapons, it works for me. Hey, oh, sorry, private party, my bad. You got a death wish, my friend. Back off. What do you want? Send someone out into the club. I need them to check under the bar, under the stairs, under the chairs for more of these. That's exactly what it looks like. C4 explosive with a remote detonator. And this... <clears throat> a remote detonator on a dead man's switch. You shoot me, I let go of this button, and the city of Miami gets some brand new undeveloped real estate. What do you want? I just want to talk. What are you drinking? Champagne. Would you like some? Please. Ooh, that's nice. A little dry, but sometimes dry is a little refreshing. Glad you like it. 
that why you're here? Put a bomb in my club so you can drink my champagne? Partially. Also, I need the name and location of a certain heroin importer. I need it quietly, and I need it now. <laughs> and I should do this because... Because he's an importer. He sells to your competition. I put him out of business. It's a win for both of us. And if you don't do what I want, I will rain hell down upon you until one of us is dead. And I am really, really good at raining down hell. I want an answer tomorrow. Who are you? I'm Michael Weston. I used to be a spy. You have a name for me. The guy's name is Glenn Herrick. He's got a boat on the river near the 27th Avenue Bridge. It cost me a lot of money to get that information. You've just done yourself a great favor, Carmella. Do yourself one. Don't let me see you again. You take care of this guy. You stay out of my way. We're good. If I ever see your face again, I'll kill you. Bomb or no bomb. Agreed. Oh, look, they survived Nate's exploding truck. Think they're keeping Sam here? Fits the background in Sam's photo. Lots of rusted metal, and they probably got him down in the hole. Oh, makes sense, a barge. It's isolated, easy to defend. <sighs> Guess it's time to set my meeting with Herrick. We could go in there now. No fee. We're going to do this the right way. I'm ready to make a deal. All right. Let's set it up. I can meet today. The girl coming? Yeah. I tracked her down. Fine. Four o'clock. Be at the Grove Harbor Marina. Sounds good. One more thing. I talk to Sam before I come to the meeting. If he can't talk, if he doesn't sound healthy, I walk away. If he's anything less than 100%, just kill him now and save us both some time. We'll take good care of him. You do that. We'll be over today. Hey. I was thinking about it. Maybe you should draw me a picture of the maps of that park. I'm gonna have to put your body somewhere, right? Hey, um... Did he ask to talk to me? Before you meet? Because I got news for you, buddy. I'm not gonna play ball. So you might as well just finish this right now. <laughs> You'll do whatever I want you to do. But until then, please, keep him quiet. Hey, um... So what were you? Army? I'm a Navy man myself, but... You know, I've seen your boss's type before. And whatever shallow grave he dumps my body in, you're going to be keeping me company there real soon, pal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I read in a book once that the things that make you the angriest are the things you know are true. <laughs> Wise words, huh? I am getting so sick of your mouth! Take a good look, buddy, because this is going to be you real soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. I kill you. Your man doesn't show, right? deals the second-hand cars, check it out. Looks clean. He also fixed the windshield on the charger. So, Mom said that you wanted me to go away with her? I want you to somewhere safe. Tell me something. Why is it if you're the responsible one, every time you run off and you do your spy thing, I gotta pick up the pieces? Please. 
I like this. You coming to me for help, it's... It feels good. It's like a fresh thing for us, you know? It's great. Yeah. You gonna do it? Of course, bro. Thanks. You probably need a moderate-sized blast. The metal on that bow looked pretty worn. I'd go with something with more direction. But it'll do. The sticky bomb was originally developed in World War II for mining tanks. For the homemade variety, tile adhesive works best. Sticky, waterproof, and it comes in an easily portable plastic bucket. safe to come back. Here, take this. It's a new phone. It hasn't been used, so it's untraceable. It's for emergencies only. We want to keep communication to a minimum. We're not taking your car from you, are we? No. Whoever's coming after me might have eyes on it, so I'll drive you and Nate up to Fort Lauderdale, and that's where I'll find you another car. I remember the time you stole your first car. <laughs> Dad was off God knows where, and I had to get me to the doctor. You must have been, what, 12? 10, I remember. You were pretty angry. Yeah. I was also proud. You did um, a lot of things I didn't understand. But you did not for the family. No, Michael. I did too. I know, Mom. I know. any calls today? No, bro. You said not to. Mom? Um, I, I called home to check messages, but I used the secure phone that you gave me. If you call a tapped phone from an untapped... Never mind. That's how they're following us. I need that phone right now. This phone is no longer secure. From now on, Let's make this simple. Make no calls. Fine. Nate, I'm going to pull over and get out. Wait a minute. You said they were following us. Yeah, they want me. When I get out, you go. You don't stop for anything. You got it? Yeah. Be careful.
I have a proposal I'd like to discuss. I'm listening. I have a job to do. I need 12 hours. You give me that, I will come in alive. If you don't, if you even come near me before that, I will put a bullet in my head. You wouldn't do that, Michael. You've got such a bright future. Maybe, maybe not. You give me 12 hours, you don't need to find out. okay to take Sam's car on the street? Those government types. I bought myself a couple of hours before they picked me up. Might as well drive it till then. You're really gonna go with them? Yeah, sir. They shot Cowan in front of you. They didn't shoot me. I want to know what's going on, and I told them I'd need them. You're a spy, Michael. Why don't you just lie? That's what spies do, you know? You want to run. This is not about honor, and I'm not running anymore. I want answers, and this is the only way to find them. You ready? It's been fun, Michael. At least this time we get to say goodbye. Barbara Marina. I'll call, put this guy on the phone. You wait until he gets there with the girl. Understood? Yeah. Okay. Put two in both their heads and call me when you're done. Got it. Get out of here. Let's go. the word commando means superhero or at least something close to it in the popular mind the thought of as the ultimate elite soldier the solution to every problem the fact is a commando is just someone trained to fight under a specific set of circumstances he's the guy you send in when there are more bad guys than good guys when surprise is the only advantage you can get in an operation when it works commandos seem unstoppable those are the operations that make the papers. When it doesn't work, commandos get killed just as dead as anyone else. Hey, you there? Okay, good. This is gonna happen. When they get there, you kill them both. I'll make sure they're dead. You got that? I don't wanna call the guy now. Really nice. I'll 
finish it quick. And if I don't? Well, then I'm gonna find another way to hunt him down, which means I have to kill you little by little until I find him. But hey, Sam, your choice. Boy, they both sound pretty good. Can I have a few minutes to make up my mind? No. I've seen that wound before. I don't know what ammo you have in here, but if it's tough one coated, you have about a half an hour. But if they're hollow point, I wouldn't make any plans. But I told you to stay away, Mikey. I tried to warn you. I was never good at taking orders, Sam. That's why you were a soldier and I was a spy. Fair enough. I was thinking about this car when they had me. I thought, I'm gonna die before the Cadillac loses its new car smell. I'd never let that happen, Sam. Mike, uh, seriously, you would have done it for me. Damn right, brother. Mike, you been using the navigation thingy? No, I didn't. Star, Mr. Weston. How do you know my name? Directions are being sent to your vehicle. Your destination is 110 miles away. My destination? Mike, what's going on? Time to get some questions answered. One way or another. Burn notice, huh? Uh, I need to borrow the caddy. No problem.
intelligence, you get used to the idea that some information is worth risking everything for. You sign up for the lifestyle, or the chance to serve your country, or the millions of frequent flyer miles. But finally, it all comes down to putting your ass on the line to 